Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're playing Throne of Eldraine again. I believe this is our second Throne of Eldraine video. Uh, yeah, second. First one is Green Black Knights. This is our first Throne of Eldraine video where we're actually using our own cards. The last one we used all the cards that you get for free. Because, uh, yeah, um, I don't feel like crafting Green Black Knights on the first day. So today we're going to be playing Mono Red Cavalcade. Because it it seems like a solid deck post rotation, um, not a lot rotated out from it. Um, so we have claim the firstborn. I like this card. You know, you steal your opponent's baby. That was blocking all your creatures. You hit your opponent's face with their baby. Put them down to like burn range or like cavalcade range, and then you give the baby back. Uh, Fervent Champion. I think I should be playing more of these, but I'm not actually made of money, so um, I'm not. I'm only. I opened one, so I'm gonna play one. Um, but First Strike and Haste in the same card is very strong. All the other abilities are irrelevant, but First Strike and Haste. Um, if I had a second one, I pro I'd play two, maybe three. I def. I don't think I'd play four, but First Strike and Haste in the same card is pretty good. Uh, Grim Initiate. 1-1 one, one, first strike, first strike's pretty good, and when it dies, a mass one, so it makes another 1-1. One, one. Uh, Scorch Spitter, Cavalcades for itself, so it's a 1-1, one, one, and when it attacks, it does 1 damage to your opponent. Shock, removal. Tin Street Dodger is 1-1 one, one haste, and it's also good because uh, you can make it unblockable. Torch Courier, 1-1 one, one haste, really good for giving other creatures haste, like, I don't know, Chandra Spitfire, for an example. And then Ginger Brute, 1-1 one, one Haste, also can't be blocked, um, uh, or you can make it so it can't be blocked, except by creatures with haste, so I guess maybe in the mirror they can block it. I like the flavor text of that, though. It's like, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man, unless they have haste, in which case they're just as fast as him. Um, and in the mirror, it's actually fairly good as well, because you can sacrifice it to gain 3 life, which is actually pretty good in the mirror. Uh, 3 life is a thing. Cavalcade, whole point of the deck, play a bunch of one uh, power creatures, attack with them, double the damage with Cavalcade, get the, sneak the damage through, you get multiple of these, you basically just automatically win if you have any creatures. Heart Fire, pretty good if you have a bunch of 1-1s one that you can sack, does 4 damage to any target for 2 mana, which isn't bad, and then you just sack your 1-1. One, one. I've won a few games with this, and I only started playing it recently, which was probably a mistake. Chandra. Uh, can flash back your burn spells, your light up the stage, whatever, but the main purpose of it is she makes two 1-1s, one -ones, and then even if your opponent kills them, she makes two more 1-1s one next turn. Really good with Cavalcade. Chandra's Spitfire is kind of a combo with Cavalcade. You attack with, like, your 1-1s, one -ones, you deal non-combat damage to them, and then pump this, and basically try to kill them with it. Uh, this can get really big. Uh, light up the stage card draw uh, yeah basically scampering scorcher makes a crap ton of one ones and uh, Torbrin is here because it's the best card in red um, yeah doing two dam uh, making all your creatures and all your cavalcade triggers do two more damage is stupid <laughs> the one uh, non bow in this deck is ginger root plus Torbron I'd play probably slightly more ginger brutes if they were red uh, but the problem is they don't do double damage. Uh, but yeah, Torbron playing the full four because the card is just busted. And then I have 17 mountains and two castles. The trick with castles, you have to wait until the cavalcade triggers go on the stack. So you have to attack cavalcade triggers on the stack, then you pump all your creatures. And then it's pretty good. If you pump them before your cavalcade triggers, when you have cavalcade on the battlefield, well, first of all, you're stupid, and second of all, you just missed a bunch of damage. So can't do that. Uh, we're going to try it in some games. We're also going to turn down our volume. Alright. Yeah, let's play it in some games. Yeah, I'm kind of lost in this new standard format, so... 
Figured I'd change my avatar. This seems keepable. Turn one fervent champion. Turn two cavalcade. Turn three Chandra. Turn four if they're not if, if they haven't given up already. We go uh, torch courier whatever I've drawn recently and light up the stage. But this seems like close to the nuts. Oh mirror match. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. So this is why first strike is good. That being said, if they block, we kill it, and then they kill our creature. So Footlight Fiend is actually pretty good in the mirror, except for it doesn't have haste. So if they find a way to sack that, they can kill our creature. So that's pretty solid. This is where I wish I had more for event champions, but I'm not made of wild cards. So, Spear Spear, okay, looks like they're not playing Cavalcade. Uh, otherwise, I doubt they'd be playing that. It is a solid blocker, though, in this case. Um, Alright, Cavalcade. Oh, rude. All right. Other advantage of Spear Spear is uh, it doesn't do anything against Chandra, so Chandra should be fairly hard to kill for them. Oh, unless they have Murderous Rider. Okay, that's that's an attacker. That's something that can kill Chandra the turn I play her. Um, in this situation, what do I want to do? I want to trick them into blocking Hacker Bat, ideally. <laughs> and then I'll light up the stage. Come on, block. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I didn't think they were going to go for it. But, I mean, sometimes you got to go for it and make your opponent have it, because if you don't, if they don't have it, like, the advantage is so high. Alright. Yeah, those are solid. Probably don't need any more lands, but got to get rid of them at some point, right? I just couldn't have them having like a big creature that would actually kill Chandra because I'd play Chandra, make some one one, so that's some damage with Cavalcade. But then they would have just killed it with Hackerbat. That's why I did that weird line last turn that happened to work out, but wasn't the most solid. Opponent's sinking. This scares me. I feel like they're gonna kill Chandra. And I don't like that. Or they're about to concede and they're trolling me. I'm not sure, honestly. Never know. What? They stepped away from their computer, they're trolling me, or Chandra's a really, really confusing card. Or they have to read it. I'm not sure, man. Oh yeah, okay. They're like, you'll never kill us with damage, you will kill us with us timing out. Alright, that's one thing that resolves. Very cool. I'll always activate the Planeswalker before you play the creature, because if you play the creature first, they have a chance to kill your Planeswalker. Whereas you, if you activate the Planeswalker first, you're guaranteed to be able to activate the Planeswalker even if they then kill it. I wonder if I really will win from them timing out. Oh dear. Oh no, okay. Our opponent has returned to the game. We will not block. We are fine with Chandra getting punched for one. Chandra's also, well, dope. There goes Chandra. Well, I have another one. Chandra's also really good at um, getting, or getting light up the stages back. I think that might actually be what I do here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, I literally, I shouldn't have played Chandra for combat because as I explained you always activate the planeswalker immediately after they enter the battlefield okay make Chandra slightly vulnerable to getting killed for the sake of two cards which probably isn't worth it um, because those two cards probably aren't going to be as good as unlimited tokens never mind those are great freaking cards 
<laughs> um, yeah. Those those are good cards. That was absolutely worth it if they kill Chandra now. so long Attack for I don't even know if this is lethal. They're not quite lethal, but a lot. Well, actually, yeah, lethal if they don't block, or if they don't rather not if they don't block if they don't have anything. If they have something, it could potentially be not lethal. But I think this is lethal. Don't I wanted to play a light up the stage though, because <laughs> I need to get my daily challenges. Jeopardy theme music plays. Alright, I mean, we won that one. Footlight Fiend was scary, though. I think if they had kept it black to block earlier, it probably could have wrecked us. But I mean, yeah. All right, on to game number two. I wish they like had a way to reverse it so they were looking at each other so they could reverse the artwork somehow. So you could have both of the Fable tips look uh, facing each other, looking the other way with their one eye. That would look pretty epic. All right, yeah, this is also basically the nuts. We have one drop cavalcade, Chandra. Don't have any Spitfires, but I mean, whatever. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. All right, that's getting shocked. Which means maybe we don't play Cavalcade this turn. Ah, well. I, I can live with that. I'm probably going to play Light Up the Stage. The one problem is that means my plan was to go Chandra, Cavalcade, Cavalcade. But since we're playing this, we're probably going to hit non-lands. Oh, sweet! Two lands! Exactly what we wanted. So we can go land, Chandra, land, Cavalcade. We don't have to... Oh, no. We only get to use one of these lands, right? Other one's going away. Don't counter it, please. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Cancel. Oh, okay. <laughs> that that was the good thing we recovered from that. That was that was an unfortunate misclick. All right. Now we're cooking with fire. Assuming they don't kill Chandra. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Now we're cooking with fire. Um. <laughs> so we do this. They're almost definitely going to kill Ginger Brute when we attack. But I don't care. Probably also going to then attack and kill Chandra. In which case I do care a little bit, but I mean...
Hopefully we'll draw like Torch Curry and like kill them with Spitfire. Yeah, so now they cast two spells or radical idea, discard a spell, cast a spell. Kill Chandra. I go Tin Street, hit them for three. Okay, that's that's not two spells, I don't think. Unless they have shock opt, exactly. Opt. Alright. To the bottom. They make a dude. Yep. Kill Chandra. Alright. Hurt Chandra. Sure. So, unfortunately, now they know they have to block that. Play this. Keep our unblockable dude to ourself. And. Oh, yeah, get in for lots. I think. I think they might have been dead if we played Tin Street. Yeah, they would have been dead if we played Tin Street, but. I'm stupid! So hopefully they don't like drop about a thousand instants and sorceries on us and some arc lights and kill us with crackling Drake because that would be unfortunate. Yeah, we would have killed them if we had Tin Street Dodger out. Big oops, I wasn't thinking that far ahead because I was planning. I was using my plan as I planned last turn. My plan as I planned last turn was uh, taking into account Chandra being dead. All right, Chandra Spitfire down. I don't think we get punished for this though, because we drop Tin Street Dodger, make it unblockable. Or even if we don't make it unblockable, they're dead. Sure. Chandra down. Um, we're gonna go for the overkill, because we're a jerk. There we go. 2 0. This deck's very solid. It, it might be what I play for. Uh, the tournament coming up at Wizards Tower uh, and everyone who's scouting me because I'm such a good player that I need to be scouted obviously right no um, is uh, gonna play like food or something I don't actually know if food beats this deck I don't know what beats this I'm sure there's deck I, I almost guarantee there's decks that beat this deck but uh, maybe it's food, but like maybe Oko just gets run over. I'm not sure. I mean, Oko soaks up six damage and then you food, so that's nine life. I don't know, man. I'll keep, but this is risky. Back when Explore was in the uh, standard, uh, that was like your go to. Uh, you need to beat uh, I'm on a red, play Lyra or Explore. So here, this de hand's very risky, but I want to show off Torbron because we haven't got him yet, so. Then we have backup Torbron in case Torbron number numero one gets killed. All right. <laughs> okay, come on, land. We're not using this Heartfire yet. That's saved for doing our final damage because if we'd uh, used it earlier, we'd have one less creature. And even if we sacked Grim Initiate, sure, we'd have the same number of creatures, but that means that when they say block Grim Initiate now, We'd have one less creature. Come on, put one in front of Grim Initiate. Oh, oops. Should have made it unblockable. Ah, oh, well. Sucks to be stupid. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's very slow. Going and getting many 2-2s. Two okay, come on, land. Oh, man. Land would be sick right now, because first strike, extra damage, pretty solid. Um, okay, in this case I'm not going to attack with Grim Initiate, because I don't want to turn it into a black 1-1, one because -one, that's not a red source, which means it doesn't work with Torbron, and it uh, doesn't have first strike, so I don't want my mass creature yet. Uh, Gideon? Sure, that's a trash blocker. I mean, it it puts pressure on Chandra. I'll give them that. Lifelink, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because they can't attack with Gideon this turn. No! Um. 
Oh, no, 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 man. Oh, man. Oh, I hate when I do this and forget to activate Chandra. I'd be in such a good spot if I remember to activate Chandra. We're not in such a good spot, but I'd be in a much better spot. So my plan was to activate Chandra for uh, one ones uh, then sack Grim Initiate. Well, I was planning to sack Grim Initiate to hurt fire, but uh, we have these nice disposable one ones, so at least we'll get rid of Gideon. And then hopefully they only attack. Yeah, if they attack Chandra with both, then they're leaving themselves open. And if they attack it with this battalion foot soldier, it's getting shocked. Sure. That, that gets around me amassing. I will give them that. Okay, come on, land. This is the turn we need to land, because this is the last turn, probably, that Chandra's going to be alive. So we need to slam a Torbron. Well, we still have the chance to basically not kill them, but get them good with... No! No! Ah! Um, in that case... Um... I mean, I guess we can do this. Oh yeah, because Chandra's not even dead this turn. Yeah. Um, claim the firstborn on my opponent's Chandra Spitfire is pretty cool. Also, on my opponent's Risen Reef, it's okay. Um, when I'm dropping, like, Scampering Scorcher. <laughs> claim the firstborn is a pretty fun card. So, they're getting their 1-1 back, but we're doing some damage to them with it, and Chandra's not dead. So, <laughs> I'm going to be really salty if we don't get to show off either of these Torbrons, though. Oh, never mind. Who am I kidding? Chandra's dead. No! Now I have no one ones for Torbron to work. This is unfortunate. Oh, beware the shock. Okay, yes. Excellent. Don't attack me. Attack Chandra. The Wanderer. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, this thing. Just need to make sure that they don't deal themselves non-combat damage. Oh no, that says prevent all non-combat <laughs> Oh, stop it, opponent. You're being mean. All right. This one, this one. Oh, oops, sure. Yeah, we totally meant to do that. Huh. We are slowly playing Wanderer. All right, yep, yeah, foot soldier. Gets one more. Plays, that's a solid card. No! Where are my lands? Don't provoke me. This is infuriating. And this is why you don't play the full four Torbron. Because I think I'm dead here. <laughs> no. Da! Triggered! Triggered! Alright, we're gonna play a few more games. Because I'm triggered. Because I should have won that. But I'm only playing 19 lands and I'm playing 6 four drops. But I still deserve to win and draw my lands. Because, <laughs> like, I don't care whether or not math and, like, 19 lands not being enough to draw four, car four lands. I deserved the lands. I mean, I don't know. I don't think four Tor... Meh, meh. Torbron's busted in this deck because if they don't kill it the turn it enters the battlefield, it's they're, they're dead. But at the same time, it is four mana. Maybe I play less Scampering Scorchers, too. Cut down on my 4-drop camp. I don't know, man. Alright, again, 1-drop. Cavalcade, Chandra. We have a few more lands this time, which is unfortunate. Unless we draw Torbron, then in, case, in that case, we want the lands. And, uh, Shock is pretty good. Playing the mirror because mono red is really good, especially week one. Um, on week in, in week one, aggro normally always does better, 
normally always um <laughs> yeah i i know how to english I, I don't get why the fox keeps hiding its face it's like oh my god my my owner is taking damage um but okay back to what i was talking about before i started mo uh, mocking the fox um Aggro decks normally do better because mid range and especially control decks are answer decks. And there's going to be a crap load of answers in the format, but they have to choose the answers that uh, fit what the metagame is right now. Um, and in order to do that, they have to know what the metagame is. So when you have no idea what the metagame is, um, answer decks do less well because they'll pack a bunch of answers and then realize those are the wrong answers and get run over by an aggro deck that they weren't expecting. Whereas aggro cares way less about what the metagame is, that aggro just counts to 20. Like, it, do it doesn't matter what my opponent's playing, I can still count to 20 no matter what. Uh, Alright, Torbron time, finally! Whereas control, uh, how many board sweeps do you play, right? Do you play a bunch? Do you play a few? <laughs> oh man. Torbron's a busted card. <laughs> hey, why does the fox keep hiding its head? This thing's annoying. It's like uh, the elemental cat would basically do nothing except like clap when you want or whatever. And I was like, yeah, okay, I don't, I don't need to have the elemental cat. I'm just gonna like have that so it doesn't happen. Um, and I haven't actually gone in the fox yet. I don't think. Um, but. I wouldn't, but if I got it, I wouldn't, I'd turn it off, I wouldn't, uh, play with it, because it's really annoying, I'm like, oh, I have Fox, okay, at least this one's cute, unlike the Elemental Cat, and then it's like, yay, we did damage, and it's like, oh my god, my owner's getting damaged, like, I mean, like, alright, get her, oh no, we already passed our red spells, so, I thought I was getting my red spells cast here, but I will. Just in case they have raised the alarm or whatever, we have to go for maximum killing. They have like, uh, I don't, I don't know what would save them. Okay. Oh crap! <laughs> We're stupid. We should not have attacked with that. <laughs> oh man, I'm so stupid. If they have something else. Oh okay. That was an oopsie. Probably shouldn't have attacked with Torbron, but I mean, we still got there. So yay. This deck's very solid, especially in week one. It'll get slightly better once the control decks learn how to beat it. Once the control decks know how to beat it, then control decks might end up being the best deck or mid range. But like, playing against other mono red, uh, you just gotta win, right? And playing against other aggro, I think, not always, but first of all, I love my mono red decks. Like, I'll play some mono blue, or I'll play blue aggro, like Delver, and I'll play red aggro. I despise white aggro. Uh, green aggro, not my style, it's just, there's not enough text on those cards, they're just big creatures. Uh, and uh, black aggro basically never happens, but I'll play it. Red white aggro, or whatever, white green aggro, not... Yeah... Not my thing. So, I like, even as someone who's like, I'm really biased, I love red aggro, but I think red aggro, as a general rule, is the best type of aggro, especially week one, but just in general, unless you have like, Thalia's Lieutenant or something, if you want to play an aggro deck, just throw a crap load of undercosted red cards in the deck and it works most of the time. My opponent's really thinking, this hand is really dicey. I mean, if they're playing mono red, which they probably are, or they're, if they're playing aggro, we shock their one drop, and then we cry until turn three. Uh, we have Torbron, we, but I think, uh, so we can keep and hope to draw a one drop first turn or second turn, because otherwise we're going second turn, shock you, light up the stage, and that's lame, but we're going to keep because... Why not? That ain't a one drop. Oh, it looks like we're playing against control. Oh, very cool. Well, there goes Torbron. 
Uh, I'm pronouncing this right. Yeah, Torbron. Torbran? Torbrazenbran? Yep, there goes Torbran. All the Torbran. I'm calling him Torbran. All right, this will work, I guess. Well, I guess we at least we get to light up the stage. Oh no, that's the Torbran, and we can't even play it. Triggered. <laughs> two Torbrans down, two to go. I'm not winning this game. <laughs> okay, at least we have no more of those. But now we can't even use this heart fire. Okay, now we can, but I don't think it's worth it. Wow, <laughs> this sucks. This sucks. If I had Chandra this turn, I would have used the Heartfire, sacrificing one of the elementals, but... Man, this sucks. <laughs> Could really use the Torbrand now. But... All right, take my Scorch Spitter or my Shock. Probably, yeah. Well, I mean, at least I can claim the Firstborn's pretty useless here. Well, we can do this. I mean, I guess this is something. When you don't have a Cavalcade, I can still do four damage. They're gonna need to kill Chandra, otherwise I think I'll still win. But, um, yeah, I don't like this. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll claim the Firstborn. That <laughs> don't mind if I do. I'd like a land though, so I can also pump the crap out of everything. Alright, that'll have to do. No, I don't need to pump stuff. Maybe we'll draw something. Yoink! Oh, we get to gain a life very fancy. Chandra, that's pretty solid. Um, so they're going to gain one life next turn up to eight. We're going to hit them for four. No, they're not going to attack. I think we hold on to Chandra. Right? Shock's more, we're guaranteed to use shock, but if they kill Chandra and we kept the shock, we look stupid and we die. All right, they're digging for something or not. Staying back to block our tokens, which is probably good. Oh yeah, because that means we can activate Chandra, play Chandra, win. If they tap down here. Come on, play like Narset or something, please. Narset? Narset's good. Um, what else helps us? Yeah, if they tap down here, I think they're dead. Assuming it's not like for Kefnet, then they're almost dead. Tough decision for our opponent here, apparently. All oh, right, they're using their time out. So either this is a really tough decision, they really had to go to the bathroom or leave their computer for some reason, or they're just trolling me.
Okay. That looked like an automatic disc to me. Um. Oh, wait. Okay, so we can do... Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Wins. Lots of wins. Four and one. Good fun. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stop it there while we have a really good record. But I think this deck is a deck that can give you a re really good record. It's very strong. Um, if I were to make any changes, it would probably be like, take out one Torbron for... Maybe another Chandra, maybe a one draw, maybe another, probably another Fervent Champion. And, um, or maybe take out a Torbron for, um, a Heartfire, maybe. And then take out a Ginger Brute, because I love Ginger Brute in the mirror. But, uh, Fervent, it does not a red source. Put in another Fervent Champion. And then take out a Mountain for a Castle. Something like that. Um, also... If I were to make a sideboard, I'd probably have it stocked full of Ginger Brutes, because that card's probably pretty good in the sideboard, as well as more Fervent Champions and more Grim Initiates, because First Strike's really good in the mirror as well. And just like Lava Coil and Experimental Frenzy and stuff. Um, the reason I'm not playing Fervent Champion right now is I'm not made of wild cards, and I prefer to use my wild cards on powerful cards rather than necessarily good cards. Um, an example of this is... Um, Maybe, I guess, um, Duress? Probably, um, uh, uh, I'm not sure if that's a good example. Um, for an example, like, Faithful Saluting might be, or used to be, it got banned now, used to be the best card in, uh, Modern, whereas the most powerful card would be Emrakul, uh, because Emrakul has the biggest impact, and... When I have like something like Fervent Champion in this case, uh, Fervent Champion, it's more efficient. First Strike and Haste in the same card is way better than just First Strike or Haste. But I can get a card that's pretty good and close enough to it while using common and uncommon wild cards or no wild cards. Whereas uh, Torbron, there's nothing else in the format that does what it does, and it's just a, such a powerful effect. You play, you win. Fervent Champion, you're never gonna play it and just win because it's because of the raw power of it. You're it just happens to be more efficient than anything else you're playing. More more good, more better, but not actually the most powerful. So, yeah, that's normally where I put my wild cards first. Powerful cards that can't be replaced by commons and iron, or uncommons. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button wherever it is. And, yeah, I will see you at some point. Maybe playing Brawl if that ever becomes legal. Uh, well, it's going to come become legal on uh, Arena, but like when it becomes an Arena format, maybe to like challenge accepted at some point. We haven't done those in a while. Uh, yeah. And I already said this, but uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.